And the other question people ask is, oh, can I have black coffee with uh, cream? Or my Indian patients, everybody is asking jeera water in the morning, <laughs> lemon water in the morning. And uh, uh, while people, well, you know, uh, they cook for family and they are tasting it. All yeah. this, will this considered as their first bite? Well, the thing is, you got to, we have to go back to the basics again. So, for example, if you, you know, that our blood glucose is considered healthy when it's below 100 milligram per deciliter. Mm -hmm. An average person of your size or my size will have five liters of blood. And if we squeeze all the sugar out of five liters, we'll get five grams of sugar, mm -hmm. which is one teaspoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. And when you add just one fifth of that teaspoon, then that becomes 120 milligram per deciliter, which is at the borderline of diabetes. So the bottom line is, even if you have half a teaspoon of sugar to your tea uh, or mm -hmm. cream or whatever it is, and mm -hmm. that means you're waking up your pancreas to do its job, mm -hmm. to bring the blood glucose down to below 100. Mm -hmm. So um, this is really amazing that it needs only one or two grams of sugar extra. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pick your pancreas into high gear to produce that insulin and use that extra glucose. Let me ask you this. Um, so, you know, our Indian lifestyle is tuned, not only Indian lifestyle, in general, everybody lifestyle has been tuned to like late night gathering, wedding, uh, anything. They're just focusing on the night part of it. Do you think as a society, how do we change this and what can we do to help at an individual level? Because all my patients are saying that, you know, I'm willing to do it, but my wife, my kids, or my husband, my kids, or my society is not ready to change. Yeah, so that's a big uh, question. And if you think about it, our health, well-being is all tied to what we do between sunset and midnight. Mm. Right. <laughs> because the daytime, we are all busy in earning our um, money and uh, living. But that's also a time when we want to socialize because the cradle of civilization is actually from the fireside chat. Uh, the hunter-gatherers, they came back, or the farmers, they came back, they cooked something, they ate, they talked, they socialized, they, um, they sang, they danced, they talked about philosophy, politics, uh, marriage, uh, setting up means arranged marriage, all of this happened at night time. But then at one point, we kind of pushed the envelope too much because it's okay to go till 9 or 10 p.m. But then now we have fireside chat that goes till midnight. Along, and, along with chat. Along with, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> along with so chat. This, this is where, uh, and also when you think about, when we think about our own independence of freedom, we are tied to what our employers want us to do or what our family want us to do till evening. And then mm -hmm. after dinner is the only time when you are free, when you are truly human, we can mm -hmm. use our creativity and all that stuff. So that's that has become a societal challenge that how to manage those five or six hours. Mm -hmm. And if we come up with a different way, so for example, we have to change the cultural practice in a way. So, for example, if I'm a vegetarian and if I go to somebody's party and then I say, I'm vegetarian, they will be very respectful. They will find something that I'll eat. <laughs> Same thing. If I say, no, I actually don't eat anything after 6 p.m. or 8 p.m., then people should be able to accept that. Just like people are accepting vegetarianism or veganism or, you know, in India, people do all types of uh, mm -hmm. fasting or religious saying, mm -hmm. some days they eat fruit. So we have to have acceptability. And uh, another thing is for us, we also have to figure out how to, how to kind of juggle those. For example, I go to late night gatherings and then I say that, look, I don't eat at night. Mm -hmm. If they're not ready to accept that, then the next time I go, I say, well, I had a bad stomach. I cannot eat anything. When you say bad stomach, nobody will force you to feed. You can have sparkling water with lime and you can have very good discussion. You can get all the other people get drunk or get uh, bloated with food and you can enjoy. 
So nowadays I I go with the Tiffin box. Yeah. I put everything to, <laughs> to eat the next day. Yeah. I mean this is uh, this is something that you can do. Uh, that's a great idea because uh, I have seen some people do that. They will bring the Tiffin box. They will say yes, I like whatever you made and I would like to enjoy it. Uh, please pack them and I'll eat them next day. So the I think we have to bring that cultural awareness. Yeah. The only problem is my Tiffin box is pretty big that there is nothing left behind. That's okay. I mean, uh, you, you can eat for the next five days until somebody else calls you for another dinner. <laughs>